Have you ever looked at a barkeep revolver and thought, man, that dude would really be cool if it had a smaller grip? Or maybe you've looked at a barkeep revolver and thought, you know what, that barrel is just too long. I sure wish that it had a shorter barrel. Or maybe you've taken a look at the little barkeep revolver and thought, wow, that front sight blade is just stupid. I wished it wasn't there. Well, lucky for you, our friends at Heritage have now come out with the barkeep boot. Today, we're gonna take a look at that little revolver. So let's go. What's up crew, it's Chris with CloverTac and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here on CloverTac, we talk about all things firearm related. So if you're into that sort of thing, jump down and smash that subscribe button below. While you're down there, if you wanna stay up to date on all the new content, we'll go ahead and click that notification bell as well. Now there's three main differences we need to go over real quick between the Barkeep Revolver and the new Barkeep Boot Revolver. And the first difference is going to be the grip. The Barkeep Boot comes standard with that, what I think is really cool and aesthetically pleasing bird's head grip. Second difference is going to be barrel length, the Barkeep Boot, a much, much shorter barrel. Now this is gonna be interesting when we get into putting rounds down range to see if this barrel causes keyholing now maybe the most interesting difference here is that the Barkeep boot does not have a front sight blade. What kind of role is that gonna play on accuracy? You know, I really don't know. I'm not the most proficient when it comes to that gutter sight front blade design on single action revolvers. So I don't know that the lack of a front sight is gonna really make me that much difference. Now it's worth pointing out real quick that other than those three differences we just talked about, the Heritage Barkeep boot is basically just like any other Rough Rider or Barkeep revolver from Heritage. And this includes the option of the convertible cylinders to fire 22 Magnum. Now Heritage does say with such a short barrel length, the 22 Magnum is very likely to keyhole. Now unfortunately I don't have a 22 Magnum cylinder today, so we're gonna have to stick with 22 long rifle and gonna be using some Federal Auto Match ammunition. Why? Because, well, quite honestly, I've got plenty of it. Now, as with anything new, we have to test the fun factor. So 10 yards down range, I've got a six inch AR-500 still gone from our good friends at High Caliber Targets. Gonna see if we can put a couple of rounds at least on the steel and have a little fun. Before we move to the live fire safety first, anytime we're on the range, got my eyes on, got my ears in. Let's do this. Now that was a lot of fun and I actually got a few rounds on the steel, but let's step this thing up a notch. I've got two of our targets from Outdoor Products Plus posted downrange, got a red one, got a black one. What we're gonna do is at the same 10 yard distance, gonna fire six rounds at the black target. And we're gonna do a two hand style grip. And then we're gonna fire six rounds at the red target with a single hand style grip and see what happens. Now here we are downrange taking a look at the targets and you'll remember the one on the left is one-handed. The one on the right is going to be two-handed and it looks like we got some keyholing going on. It's not surprising with the short barrel length on this little barkeep boot revolver. If you was to use 22 Magnum, I think the keyholing would likely be a lot worse. But as far as grouping on either of these go, I'm not the most proficient with a single action revolver, even if it does have sights, so not altogether uh, disappointed. So there you go, crew, a quick look at the new Barkeep boot revolver from our good friends at Heritage. If you wanna check out more content on Heritage revolvers, well, got some of that locked and loaded right over here. As for this one, we're done. So thanks for hanging out, thanks for watching, and until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.